Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I am beyond excited for this video. I made a video about crystals about a year ago and you guys seem to absolutely love it and had a lot of questions and wanted to part two and so I kind of wanted to make a better video about crystals. Just sharing my knowledge and kind of giving you guys a crystals beginner's guide and exactly how they work and how to choose a crystal, all that good stuff. Definitely gonna have a table of contents for this video. There's just so much to talk about and I wanna hit every point and I wanna make this video like perfect video. You guys can like learn a little bit of everything. So first I'm gonna start like with the introduction of what crystals are, how they can benefit your life. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha. I do a lot of lifestyle videos. So if you guys want to stay tuned and have more videos about crystals, make sure you guys subscribe down below so you guys don't miss another video like this. Let's go ahead and just get right into it. There's a lot to talk about. I'm even going to take you guys along on a trip to the crystal shop and show you guys how I choose crystals at the crystal store and how to pick some. Just like a little crystal vlog as well in this video. So crystals are tools that can really help you on your journey in life. You can use them to manifest anything you want in your life and use them to set intentions for your life. Crystals help us connect to higher frequencies of energy in a tangible way. You can use crystals in all sorts of ways. You can wear crystals in like jewelry or keep them close to you by wearing your crystals or just keeping them close to you like in your purse, in your pocket, in your bra. You can connect with that energy throughout the day. Your crystals will pick up on your vibrations, thoughts, and intentions. It's really important when you first get a crystal to cleanse it. And so when you like first pick out a crystal, whether it being online, you purchase it online, or you go into a crystal shop and bring it home, I definitely really recommend to cleanse it before you set intention into it or like start using it before you start wearing it. Just because you don't know like the person before you who came into that crystal shop could like just carry like this really bad energy and like transfer it to you. So you just wanna cleanse and like just cleanse everything before you use it. Everything in life is a vibration. I talk a little more in depth about vibrations and what a vibration even is in my previous crystal video. So I will link that down below. I just don't want to be too repetitive in this video and I want to give you guys a lot more different information and not the same information I gave last time. So if you guys are interested, it'll be linked down below. It's also a really good video and informative. Um, I just want to keep it a little different this time and not repeat exactly what I said in the last video. So when choosing a crystal, it can be very overwhelming, especially if you walk into a crystal store and like it's like all you see is crystals around you like left right up down everything and so it can definitely be overwhelming because there's just so many options i'm gonna share a couple of crystals that i think are really good beginner crystals if you don't know where to start however get the crystal you feel more most called to because crystals choose us as much as we choose them as crazy as that sounds so you can you know go in getting a little rose quartz but if you feel drawn to another crystal don't be scared to you know branch out and not even if you don't know the name of it or the properties like if you just feel drawn to it you should look up the properties of that crystal and usually in crystal shops they have like little meanings and stuff with the crystals and see if like that is what you need in your life right now and most of the time it does resonate because it's like calling you but I've definitely gone into crystal shops like with like a little list of I want this one this one this one and that's okay too it's kind of hard online you can also shop online however I do want like want to just give a fair warning like just be careful when shopping online for crystals just because there's unfortunately a lot of fake crystals and just people trying to like scam you so so that's unfortunate so you just have to do your research and make sure it's a really good incredible website you're buying from or like a business you're buying from especially on Amazon it can be kind of tricky you can buy crystals on Amazon but it's just like a little like you know so I do want to just give a disclaimer for you guys and keep it real with you guys but if you go into a crystal shop I think it's really fun to like just go and see what you're drawn to and a lot of the times like you just can go in and like pick up one of the crystals and just feel its energy and see like if that is something you want to work with and it sounds super silly but it's like it really works for me and like helps me decide if I want to get this crystal or not or if it's going to serve me or not. 
So I'm gonna share a couple of basic crystals that I think anyone can get when they're first getting a crystal. But do not feel restricted and feel like these are the only crystals you can get because these are the crystals that everyone says to get as a beginner. Do what you want and whatever gravitates towards you is for you. So I'm gonna share a couple of some beginner crystals that I really like. Going into some of the beginner crystals I recommend, rose quartz is one of them. Here is a raw rose quartz, which is basically like how the crystal came it's very raw here's a tumbled stone and has been carved and polished so there's no rough edges this one is very raw though so there is a lot of rough edges crystals come in different variations it's just depending on what you like and what you feel drawn to there's no like right or wrong like one doesn't work better than the other even with size um i did get a question about that i will do a q a portion at the end of this video answering your guys's questions and they can also come in bracelets rings necklaces earrings so rose quartz i really love the property of rose quartz is love self-love love in general love with relationships love with friendships all that stuff i really like this for self-love and i think everyone should have some rose quartz in their collection i also really recommend amethyst this one is very raw amethyst so pretty and then there's this one amethyst is a calming stone which is really good if you are needing some calming in your life another one i like is carnelian also i want to mention depending on your zodiac sign there are crystals recommended for you so go ahead and feel free to like look up certain crystals that go with certain zodiac signs i'm leo so carnelian is actually one of my crystals that resonates with my sign i am a fire sign so it is giving very much fire and heat this is a heart carnelian which is so cute this one is a little sphere and i actually have a necklace that i can just drop this in and i used to wear it a lot carnelian is very good healing the heart chakra and i also like to use it for like love and relationships i know this one was trending a lot on tiktok about a year ago or two it attracts good luck abundance and prosperity as well i definitely really like this one you cannot go wrong with clear quartz i think clear quartz is definitely one for everyone and for a beginner i actually recommend this as your first crystal if you can't if you don't know where to start or if you don't feel like you feel drawn to anything clear quartz i have this in a little bracelet too which is so cute clear quartz enhances mental clarity and i think it's a really good manifesting stone as well there are obviously so many beginner crystals that you can like gravitate towards i'm just going to show you guys one more which is selenite selenite is a cleansing crystal and it can charge your crystals as well which i really like i definitely want to get a bigger selenite so i might get that when we go to the crystal shop it's a good basic and i think that everyone should have selenite as well those are just a few crystals that i recommend personally and i think everyone should have those are just if like you know you don't really know where to start or if you don't feel drawn to anything definitely recommend those those are definitely for everyone how to cleanse your crystals and charge them and set intention into them so like i mentioned before when getting a new crystal you definitely want to cleanse it out all the energy out from the past there's a couple ways you can use incense i do want to say um just be careful with incense if you have pets i think they do make like incense pet safe i'm not too sure on that but i think i've heard of that i definitely love to use incense but i don't use it around my pets that is like a super simple way you would just like take the incense and like you know have the smoke everywhere sunlight and moonlight is a really simple way as well because you can just put them by your window if your window has sun and they'll be charging and cleansing and also moonlight as well you just leave them outside and they'll be charging cleansed and ready to be worked with there's a ton of different ways there's brown rice there's water however be careful with water because some crystals cannot be emerged with water so you just have to do research on specific crystals and the proper way to take care of each individual crystal selenite also like i just mentioned is a charging and cleansing crystal which i love because you just have some selenite i want big selenite chunk you just put your crystals on top of it and boom leave it overnight and it, the job is done babe setting intention with your crystals you can literally just hold the crystal in your hand and like once it's cleansed and charged and ready to have intention set into it just holding your hand and just like i want this crystal to help me with self-love visualize it all that stuff and literally it's as simple as that just have that moment and connection and set that intention girl and then you can just start wearing it and bringing it around holding it around your bag I think it's time for us to go to the crystal shop and pick out some crystals. 
all right guys so i am literally right around the corner from my oh from my crystal shop that i go to so we're gonna go ahead and go in i'm gonna show you guys the outside and i'm gonna show you guys a little bit inside and show you guys how i choose a crystal so we'll see what i end up buying and if i even buy anything if i'm drawn to anything i will give you guys like a little haul afterwards which one really like calls my name as silly as that sounds i don't know well, i like this one because it's like flat all around okay, i'm gonna take this one and it's two for three so ooh, this one back from the crystal shop so i want to give you guys a like a miniature haul of what i got i honestly didn't get too much these are the ones I got. I got four little crystals. I also tried my best to like film in there and like really kind of just show you guys around. I didn't really talk that much and vlog that much in the store because it's such a tiny store and so I just didn't want to disturb anybody and like make anyone feel uncomfortable. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I went in there blind. I kind of wanted some selenite is like the only thing I went in there knowing that is the first thing I picked up were these two selenite wands they were two for three dollars so these are what these look like I kind of explained them a little earlier in the video so they're very like much cleansing crystals I love them so much and I just wanted bigger chunks of selenite so I got those I asked the girl um, for some help for I kind of wanted to have some new crystals that she recommended for manifesting and she recommended citrine right away off the bat and and I don't have citrine in my collection, so I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. This is what citrine looks like. And right away when I went to the citrine section, this one called my name and I grabbed it and I didn't touch any other one. Citrine healing properties. Happiness, prosperity, creativity, strength, generosity, protection, success, truth. The list kind of goes on, but the girl really recommended it for manifesting. And then I got Epidote. And this one, they were selling it by the gram. So this little piece was $4. Oh, also the citrine was $4 or $5. She also recommended this for manifesting. So I went ahead and picked it up. I had never heard of it, honestly. So Epido is very much like a magnet in the sense that it attracts. So it's a very attracting crystal which i'm really excited to work with um i have some specific things i want to attract in my life so i'm really excited to work with the inset intention into this one it's so tiny but that is what it looks like and that is my miniature haul for you guys i sometimes i get more sometimes i don't even get anything that was just what was drawn to me today and i'm really excited about it so i'm gonna go ahead and cleanse them because very important to cleanse your crystals once you purchase them from the crystal shop so it's called crystal blue vibrations if you're ever in san diego i hope you guys enjoyed coming along to the crystal shop with me i'm excited to work with those new crystals so from my last video i do have a couple questions that were left in the comments that i did not answer so i want to be able to answer that in this video the first question i got was i would like to know your opinion on moldavite i've seen a lot of people scared of the intense changes it can bring and would like to know if you have some and if i should get it um it is very intense it's an intense crystal that literally transforms your life upside down um it gets you to where you're meant to be at a super fast pace so if all your friends are super fake and are like not serving you and do not end up in where you should be you're gonna lose all your friends in like two seconds and like that will be very hard and as well as a whole bunch of other things so i definitely say do your research on multiply before getting it if you feel drawn to it um there's definitely nothing wrong with Moldavite. I've known a lot of people and seen a lot of stories. I personally do not have Moldavite and I feel like I'm definitely not ready for it. And so maybe I will never be ready for it. So I definitely have not grabbed Moldavite. Um, but I just say be careful and if you're scared, I definitely 
recommend to hold off a bit because you don't want to go into the intention of being scared with the crystal. So Moldavite is very strong and just do your research and make sure that's what you want to do. Do you absolutely need to buy crystals in crystal shops dedicated to them or are shops like Amazon okay? Definitely you don't need to go to a crystal shop. Um, but I, like I said earlier in this video, Amazon is good. You just have to look at reviews and kind of, you know, just be careful with the idea that people do sell fake ones and it's unfortunate, but that does happen. So you just have to be cautious and make sure that the Amazon seller you're buying from or the website you're buying from is very credible. Does the size of the crystal matter? Cause I know they can be expensive if they are bigger and I have a budget. Definitely not like I like Moldavite literally comes in like little pieces and does just the job So no size does not matter It's just kind of like what you feel drawn to and what you can also afford so you can just buy like a little Tumbled crystal which usually run about like five dollars and that's perfect. So yeah, those are all the little questions I wanted to answer. Hey guys, so I'm editing this video right now and I realized I do not have an outro for this video. So basically that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually really love talking about crystals and stuff. Um, I kind of just wanted to give a little beginner's guide and Feel free to leave comments down below if any questions you have about crystals that I did not answer. And I will most likely do like a follow-up video. Also, I want to know if you guys want a video about manifesting and manifesting techniques and how to manifest with crystals. Um, because I wanted to dedicate this video for crystals. And so let me know if you guys want to see a manifesting video. I can definitely do that. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys like it. You guys really enjoyed my last one. I wanted to do like a little updated one. The same information with a little twist. I brought you guys to an actual crystal shop this time. So yeah, let me know if you guys like videos like this and what other videos you want to see in regarding crystals because I know you guys like those videos. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I honestly think we can do it before my birthday, which is July. The end of July so I'm so excited um, I will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video and yeah I will see you guys in my next one